I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm driving in the ambulance today because I'm on the road on to an adventure today. I'm headed off to a small town near the Saskatchewan-Alberta border, which is about three hours from where I live, uh, to go look at a house that is full of 104 years of, I'd like to say collecting, but it's more accumulating things. But I'm hoping there's going to be some stuff in there um, that is going to be worth some money that we can resell. So we're off to do some treasure hunting. That's going to be tomorrow. Uh, this video should be somewhat interesting uh, as there's going to be all kinds of crazy stuff, I'm sure. Uh, mountains of things, I'm told. And I am uh, enjoying my ride in the ambulance as I'm headed down the highway. Uh, this car is a fantastic highway vehicle. It's smoother than sliding a bar of soap across a wet counter. It's got a great heater. Uh, it weighs as much as a family of pandas. <laughs> so it's just super smooth down the highway. So we're taking the ambulance out there. It's empty. I'm hoping that uh, at the end of this uh, video, at the end of this trip adventure, that I'll have a full ambulance full of cool stuff that maybe nobody's seen in, uh, you know, 80, 90 years. So let's get to it. Let's get to the border and let's see if we can find some treasure. So at this point, I'm actually a little bit stressed out because uh, I got down to about a half a tank of gas maybe an hour ago, and I thought, okay, no big deal. There'll be clearly a gas station somewhere on the highway, but guess what? There isn't. There isn't a gas station anywhere. Uh, it's Arctic tundra pretty much all around me. My car is starting to chug, um, so I have a feeling I am just about out of gas or might have just actually gone out of gas right now. Uh, so I'll have to figure this one out. It's not a great situation. I'm gonna have to be uh, cruising into town. I'll try and get as far as I can. From what I can tell, I'm only about five kilometers from town, so I'm so close to making it. And yet so far, so very far. Um, yeah, Deer Highway, you need more gas stations. And even if I would've planned ahead, there hasn't been one in over an hour. Um, so yeah, not great news for me right now and the car just quit, so ah, I thought it'd be fun. Maybe if I write out SOS in the snow, somebody will come with a tank of gas from, from outer space, I guess. <laughs> so here's the situation. I am about three and a half kilometers from town, so that's maybe a couple miles, not far. Um, the ambulance has a 455 engine, so it goes through gas pretty heavy. I had well over half a tank the last gas station I saw, but it's been over an hour since I saw another station uh, and there wasn't another one to stop at. So sadly, I am here marooned on the side of the highway, but luckily the folks that I'm meeting up are in town and they're bringing me a jerry can. Thank goodness someone's prepared on this trip. Um, you know, I haven't taken the, the old ambulance on many highway adventures because I have, it's kind of unknown how good, how good it is on gas. So now I guess I know. So, uh, waiting for some gas and then, uh, <laughs> then we'll get back on track. I can see my heroes have arrived. So, uh, they're just turning around. I'm going to go pop the gas cap off. Oh, silly move, but at least they're good people. Um, didn't have to call AAA or anything like that. So I'm going to go get the gas cap out and get her full of gas. So I figure I'll just head straight to a gas station. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to make it and then I was cruising behind this lady doing like 80 and I thought well, if I step on the gas to pass her, I am probably going to die right there and then sure enough I die anyway. <laughs> we'll see if she starts now. I'll give this a try again here. He's wearing one of my t-shirts from the store. <laughs> uh, there we go. We are golden so I'll just follow you Don. Okay. This is great. He's got a Curiosity Ink shirt on. So I know, you know the adventure is going to go well when it starts off like that. So, all right. We are gas and good to go. That was only about a 10 minute wait. I mean, like I said, I was really close to town here. So it actually, <laughs> I almost made it. I almost made it to the gas station. Here they are. 
Well, to my defense, the gas gauge was at a quarter tank, and then at one point it just kind of, the needle must have been stuck or something, and it flicked right to E. <laughs> so I thought I had a little bit more time than I did. Um, but the car, you know, the car did run on E for probably about 15, 20 minutes. So um, it was a nerve-wracking, nail-biting experience. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I decided to turn the camera on uh, and talk to you guys about it the minute the car actually ran out of gas. So, so that happened. Um, no, it looks like we've got a check stopper police barricade going on in front of us here too. There he's there, don't want to run into him after all that. <laughs> I've just been pulled over by the police, but he just wanted to check out the car. <laughs> oh, off there. Yeah, stay safe out there. Hope your next posting is like maybe somewhere tropical. Hey, have a good see one. Ya. We'll see ya. Cop comes up to me and he just wanted to hear the sirens and lights. See the lights go. Cool guy, super nice guy. So I hope he enjoys uh, checking out the car. <laughs> it was fun. So he, pull, he pulls up to me. And he walks up very policeman-like and he says, uh, excuse me, sir, do the sirens and lights on this car all work? And I said, uh, well, not in the public, they don't. And he said, oh, no, I just want to hear them and see the lights go. I said, well, if you're with me, I will totally turn the sirens and lights on. So that's what we did. Uh, and he got some pictures and stuff. So uh, super nice guy. <laughs> it's always nice to run into nice police officers. They just want to have a fun time. And everybody loves old cars. Old cars are great. So we're going to do a little uh, stop at the um, mother-in-law's house here, uh, 104 years old, never sold the darn thing. Uh, so we're not judging, we're not, uh, you know, whatever the house is like, it's probably going to be a bit of a mess. He's already given me a warning. I'm not afraid of that, you know, you got to be okay digging. And I've got kind of a priority list of things I'm looking for. Um, first thing, you know, really cool stuff, <laughs> you know, like obvious cool antiques, uh, oil and gas collectibles, maybe old advertising signs, advertising tins. If I can't find the normal stuff that I sell for the store, like the cream of the crop kind of things that sell, um, antique firearms, stuff like that. If I can't find that kind of stuff, then you go through the list. Uh, antiques, men's razors, uh, vintage clothing, because old like 40s and 50s Levi's or, or antique clothing can actually be quite valuable. And that is the kind of stuff that you might find in a hoarder house. So we are going to dig through this place um, and I'll go through my upper echelon of stuff I'm looking for and we're just going to make a big pile of stuff, hopefully, of things that are sellable or things I can do something with. Uh, because whatever doesn't go is probably just being sold with the property because the family doesn't want to deal with it. So we are going to dig through, find a pile of cool stuff, hopefully, and continue having fun on this little adventure today. So uh, let's check it out. Oh, I see they've got a Mercury Grand Marquis, it looks like, mid-80s. Yeah, we took the motor out of it, though, for the Maverick. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, the house looks like it's got some age to it. What year is the house? Uh, oof. It's really old. It looks like it's got to be turn of the century based on the construction and all the neighbors' houses are pretty old. Yeah. You got a little shed out back there too, hey? Yeah, that was for mom's play. Okay. Um, right, she was quite a well-known potter, wasn't she? Yeah, she was quite famous. Yeah. I see a little wagon sitting here already. Remnants of a wagon. Well, snow doesn't stop me. Well, we'll see if we can get inside and have a look around. Oh yeah, well, she she definitely made good use of her square footage in here, didn't she? Yes. Now let's, now let's. <laughs> it's still not hot enough in here. No, I, I don't know. The furnace, it, it's, it's pumping out stuff, but I don't know. The, the ducts in that are probably all plugged, so... Well, I mean, how, where, the, where would the heat even come out of? Yeah. You know, all the vents are probably plugged. Good thing we picked a warm weekend. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, no, if this was 30 below, I, I there would have been a phone call for you. Thank you. Here's the beautiful table under all that crap. Where's the, where's the light for this, honey? Oh, hang on. Oh, there you go. Okay. We'll now, get it. What we could do... There's a dozen side table in here too. Is, is we could pile all the stuff in one corner. Yeah, okay. And then you can go through it, whatever you want, and we'll make a little room there kind of thing. Well, I'll just, I'm okay just digging. Okay. You Run know. Well, I'm, you know, I'm sure there's stuff, I mean, there's there's a room there. So that's the other half of the house. Have, has anybody been in there? There's a piano. Well, 
Come down the old stairs here. Looks like she liked her peach schnapps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was mom's going to bed kind of stuff. Oh, there's some old woodworking tools. You know, some plows and planes and things like that. Yeah. This is the type of, I like to be where the where the work happened. That's where you find the cool stuff. Yeah, there's the phone right there. Oh, the old phone is still mounted on the wall. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll be interested in the phone. Okay. That that thing's, you know, you don't often find a phone like that that's still in the same place it was in when it was in use. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's kind of... Well, there's an old sewing machine sitting there. there pretty yeah, pretty rough sewing though. Machine. Yeah, pretty rough. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look over here. These flickering lights, are, it's like a horror movie. <laughs> if I wasn't with you guys and didn't know you, I think I'd be a little freaked out. Wagon and implement paint, see that's kind of cool. Not in the best shape, but you never know when you're gonna find a cool old oil can or something no, like that. So. No. This is the place you're gonna find stuff. You know, even that tin over there in the corner might be something. There's a old lantern. Yeah. Right there. And some tools. These little radiant heaters are kind of neat looking. You can hear the furnace is trying to work. The furnace is trying to work. There's a furnace or a stove or something in this corner, Alex. I couldn't exactly see how good it was or whatever. Okay. But right over here. Oh yeah, a, yeah. There's a stove. Well, there's an old tractor seat and too. A tractor seat. People do collect tractor seats. That one's pretty rusted, mind you. Yeah. Because there's even a crawl space. Who knows what's back there? Hey, have you ever been back there? No. I'm afraid there might be a body or something. Oh, or something. geez. I don't want to know. Well, they've got this ladder sitting here. It looks like maybe they're using this ladder to kind of look up there. I'm gonna peek in. This is one of those uh, Indiana Jones kind of moments. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Doesn't look like people have been back there for a while, but there is stuff crammed underneath there. And let's see. So yeah, there's a nice little stove. It's a little busted up, but. Actually, this bookcase I would take. That's a barrister's bookcase, a lawyer's bookcase stacking. It? it comes apart in pieces, hey? Each one of these is a section that comes apart. Oh, so that won't be that hard. It's got a broken bottom on it, but. Okay. Yeah, I could use that. All right. So I'm see I'm finding stuff already. I, I never I never worry in a place like this. There's always something for me. It's a laundry room. See when a person values everything, they accidentally keep stuff that actually has value. Yeah. But you know, in this condition, uh now how how bad is the mice situation you don't know right now? No, no. No, no. We uh, put in some stuff to uh to like uh, that was electronic mouse thing. Yeah. And then uh, a neighbor's cat got in here and stayed for a while so we were kind of hoping that uh, that would kind of get rid of the most things but I can't say for sure Alex it's been a long time uh, there's some stuff here. over there too well the fact already that there is an old wall, wall crank phone that's still hooked up to the wall is a good sign that there's old stuff in here oh yeah yeah oh this looks like the workshop that's the workshop this is where I want to be okay that's where I, I gotta get to I don't think there's a light back here, but I can see there's some no. old tins and cans. Holy smokes, there's a uh, saw down there. Holy yeah, there's a, there's a saw. There, This is a whole workshop back here. There's actually an old store display. Like a rotary uh, store display over there. Oh, cool. Let, let me just see if I can get past here. It looks Look like that light bulb in the corner there. Is that, is that an oldie or is that just somebody's baker baker? Holy cow, is there a sticker or a broom handle? I just got to clear some of these cobwebs that are in front of me here. Uh, wave one of these old sweaters around here hang on i'm just gonna wave the wave that around a little bit because everything's covered in spider webs luckily most of the spiders and stuff are dormant right now yeah see anything that looks like a light switch i don't see anything that looks like a light there's a fluorescent light thing up above you there i think there's an old uh pyrene or not lantern, I'm sorry, fire extinguisher. Yeah. yeah, this looks like the old workshop. Broken hockey sticks. <laughs> she never There's really... There's a lathe here. There's a lathe, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna borrow one of these broken hockey sticks. I'm gonna just kinda clear out. There's some cowbells. 
I'm gonna clear the dust here. Okay. This was a hutch at one time. Probably came out of the old kitchen. Yeah. Uh, looks like he was doing some woodworking at one point down here. There's lots of chunks of wood. That uh, Timex display I'd be interested in. Okay. We'll just have to drag it out. Yeah. That's a neat piece. That's probably like a 1950s watch display there. Yeah. It's odd that, you know, he would have a watch display but I guess, you know, when you're finding uses for things, here's a nice little tin horse. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta get seriously covered in spider webs. Uh, some of these old cans. What I'm looking for is old oil cans. That looks like, uh, I'm gonna set that right there for now. Sure. These look like they're whirly gigs. I, th I think he was making whirly gigs. You know what they are, hey? Yeah, yeah. As I get those guys down. What was that, the fellow? It was just a wrought iron. It's it a piece of metal. Let's see. Old doorknobs. So we'll use those. Well, what we'll do is, uh, I guess when we come back here tomorrow, we'll make a big, uh, we'll start hauling stuff. We'll just start dragging it out to the ambulance. The stuff that you want, we'll start moving it out to the ambulance. Okay. Really gig pieces. I'll put them over there. Put those guys there. Hey. Little horse, probably off of a, you know, maybe a, a whirly gig or a, well, probably weather vane horse, yeah, actually. Weather vane, yeah. yeah, I would say that's weather vane. And I'm going to see if I can get over there and get that uh, store display out of there. Okay. It's going to take both hands to do this. Boy, I bet, I bet nobody's seen this thing in a while. No, it's a coffee table there. Okay. So this is the staircase here. As staircases often do, they go up. There's a nice little, uh, this is a drop leaf desk. Yeah, that's the desk I was talking about. Yeah. It was a no, it's not a roll top. It's a, it's a drop down desk. It's not bad though. You know, there's a nice, there's a little soapstone here, which I'd be interested in. There's a roll top desk down here somewhere. Well, I doubt whether anybody took anything out of this house. They would have took taken one step in here. There's some of her pottery, maybe. Uh, no, that's not hers. Oh, well, it's not hers. No, I don't think so. There is pottery in this room. Okay. But there's another half, a whole half of the house over on the other side. There. So what was she saving all the clothes for? Uh, she's a hoarder, Alex. Well, yeah, I guess. She started out because this was stuff for the grandchildren and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it just kind of got the best of her, right? I can see. Yeah, she probably hadn't used this side of the house in a while. Nope. But there's a piano underneath all that stuff, sir. Oh, hey, somewhere in here there's a piano. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I it was so funny. Mine the piano and I couldn't find it. Yeah, I know. It's 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 treat my stuff with care. <laughs> but it's it's hard to, to think about that. Yeah, that's my own love thing. Well, who knows, maybe years of being covered in clothing preserved it somewhat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good thing yeah. we don't have rats in Alberta. <laughs> to the right, yeah. To the right there is Karin's old room. This room here? Yeah. There are a bunch of old clothes. That room to the left is plugged. There is got some silver dollars and stuff. I know Mom was saving for... There's a bathroom. Well, that's what you wonder is if in the drawers there's like old, you know, razors and things like that. Yeah. Your dad wasn't a fan of all this? No. Let's see if we can make a light work up here. Yeah, if you're heading towards the... Well, there's electricity, but there's no light bulb. No light bulb, yeah. Okay. So she was clamoring around and all this. That's that room, that door there where it says mugs. Mugs, yeah. That's the one that's going up to the attic. Well, okay. I'm making the trek over. Yeah, I'm not the old. What'd you hit? Right here. There's an old clock there, Alex, sitting over there. One of those windows. Oh, yeah, windows. yeah. Well, there's the one on the top there, too. There's, uh, yeah, there's a clock there, and there's another one down below. An alarm oh, clock. There's oh, two clocks. Oh. That's just, somebody took the drawer out. It's, it's right here. Karen, it's right here. Oh, that's a, wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's nothing in there anymore. <laughs> We'll get a couple flashlights, two tomorrow on some light bulbs. And 
wherever we can find a place to plug them in, we'll plug in later. Old stuff. hats? Yeah. I remember that checker one. Dad had that in one of his pictures Did that I, I saw. Some, um, actually, they bought it um, one of the farm clothes. You got to watch your step over here, Don. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This little uh, miniature stove is kind of neat. But I'm interested to see what's in the attic, because that's the stuff that's going to be forgotten for a long time, right? Oh yeah, the attic stuff has been here for a long time. I was going to look at the clothes here. Like, see this old workwear jacket? Yeah. That's, you know, people buy that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm flipping through. I know you guys are standing behind me wanting me to move probably, but... No, I don't want you to do anything. I want you just to uh, look through wherever you want and enjoy whatever you want. And... Well, as long as I don't find a... A bunch of baby mice. <laughs> they should be dead by now. Well, they're all probably hiding for the season. There's that Hound, one the duck. Hound's tooth coat. <laughs> what I'm hoping is, you know, there'll be some kind of old service stations, old newspapers. The attic. So this is the third the floor. Yeah, this is the third floor. No, uh, I don't see a light bulb yet, but let's go up. Okay, there's a nice old chair right off the bat. Office chair, there's a bicycle. This is exactly the type of attic you hope you're going to find. Yeah. Yeah. If you go over to the right there, Alex, there's some more stuff there. Coleman lantern. There's old chairs there. This is where all the old, old stuff is, yeah, eh? Yeah, real old trunk, steamer trunk. There yeah. There's to toys up here, too. Well, that would be, that's always good for my business. Toys are always good. Let's see. Yeah. Well, when we have daylight tomorrow, it'll be a bit better too. Yeah. <coughs> the doll cradle here. Well, there's a uh, part of a roll top desk sitting there because I can see those are drawers off of uh, one of the pedestals, one of the tiers of a roll top. Oh, okay. So maybe it's disassembled. Oh, no. Let's see what's in the box. Another box. It's marked wreaths. I'm guessing this is Christmas stuff. It looks like it's Christmas stuff. Shoes. Wow, look at that. Look at these. Ooh, fancy. Fancy shoes. Ooh. But there are ladies who collect old shoes, you know. Do they Sunday go to meet these kind of shoes? Or, or not. We're not. Well, you never know. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Uh, this looks like this is um, a military um, cover for your legs. It's oh, yeah. that kind of style. That's just the thing, you know, you never know. You gotta look in the boxes. No, they don't go down. Greetings. Let's see what year this is from. Doesn't say. Yeah, Christmas vacation, they fell through the floor. Yeah. yeah. No, that's one thing, Alex. You look down below you, you got sturdy floors. Oh, it seems real sturdy. Here's some, uh, looks like maybe some uh, needle points and things like that. I, I'm always terrible at knowing the difference between cross stitch and just regular needle point. This is just all old clothes in here. Old picture frames. I can always use old picture frames. Wow. An old picture. Oh, yeah, here's a good one here. It's a Canadian Pacific uh, hotel poster. Oh, well, that's oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. This is a good piece. We'll take this right out to the car. Look at so that. that is Moraine Lake. This would have been at a CP hotel. Wow. To, or, you know, at a station to kind of show people how majestic it was. 100% I'm interested in that. It hasn't even been topped on anything. Hey, nope. you know what? His mom was a, 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 a chambermaid. At the, at the Jasper Park, Jasper Park Lodge. Lodge. See, she probably took a couple pictures. There's another one here. Or, uh, oh. the, uh, this is of the Jasper Park Lodge, I think. Mm. Yeah. So that yeah, this is a. Uh, now, it's not in as good shape. Chateau Frontenac, Quebec, Canadian Pacific. Oh, yeah, it's all wet. See, we're finding good stuff already. It doesn't matter, Car. I can clean a lot of that up. So, here's two. We can take those guys <laughs> uh, down. What's that, Alex? Look at that so these frames are Canadian Pacific frames. No way. Yeah, train frames. So we got to take the frames too. You guys are okay digging a little bit tonight? No, I don't care. Okay. 
I don't have a wife. Ah, you got a wife though. You gotta make sure the wife's happy. Yeah, well, no, that's, that's why we're doing this. What's this? KD's. KD's timetable. Boy, there's some old stuff in here. Let's see. Old uh, cowboy hat. The kid's cowboy hat. Oh my god. Smith built Calgary. Holy, really? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna find all kinds of stuff. I, I, I don't doubt it. Oh, you know? Really? You know, we're going to find all kinds of things in here. Look, that's from the Queen's coronation. So that's been up here since the 50s, probably. <laughs> but she got, she was coronated queen in 53. Oh, yeah, that's why I like coming out to places like this. You guys were worried I wouldn't find anything. Well, we were worried that you'd open the door and turn around and No. That thing? Never. Oh, it was worth it already for the few things that I found. Yeah, I know. You can see the roofing nails right here. So if you put your head up too high, you're going to bonk a nail. Oh, yeah. Did, what, she just get a new roof put on? No, yeah, a couple years ago. No, well, 2015. Yeah. There's a collection of onion wrappers, which means there's probably a... Well, we're saving a few things already. Do you want this old lantern, too? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. That's a nice one. Well, it's been up here and nobody's been messing with it. Look so, at that, it's like new... There's a, yeah, I thought, I'm like, hey, this looks like a rock polisher. Nope. Not what it was. Light. Um, like this chair is good. That's a good chair. That reminds me of the chair that used to be in the, in the old stations. Yeah. The station master used to have a chair like that. And he used to be sitting at his, when you were going in for a ticket. And he'd be sitting at his desk and he'd say, where are you going? Is that one way to return? You know what? Oh, look at there's, there's an old get yeah baby stroller. stroller Strollers aren't all that collectible. No. These uh, fiberglass mid-century shades, if there's a lamp that goes with them, they're not bad. Oh, there's always a creepy doll. You remember this one? Mm. What is it? It's a doll. doll. Oh, him! Yeah. You remember that? Well, he's like a, a composite kind of plaster, I guess. But you'd think they would have kept toy stuff together. So they were they were just kind of, this family just didn't want to have to deal with all this stuff, I guess, eh? No, nope. well. Um, <laughs> an old doctor's Mama case over there. Get this stuff careful not to step down the hole. Oh yeah, careful. Actually, this floor is better than, there's a carpet bag over there, what do they call that, the, the doctor's bag. This is a little carved uh, cigarette case, it looks like. You know, there are some, you know, like I collect oil and gas stuff. There's some receipts from a BA station here. You know. But oh, did he? Well, then maybe there's hope for me to find some BA stuff here. This stuff looks like it got a little bit of water damage over here. What's in the old case? Nothing. Perfectly good case with nothing in it. Same thing, that one's empty. That one's empty too, yeah. Well, this will take a little bit more looking tomorrow, I think, over on this side. But I might peek over here, though. Yeah. There, this is a Aladdin lamp, I believe, no. with the shade. Well, Aladdin was the brand name. They have a circular wick that goes in there. They're actually a really good lamp. Well, oh, there's the top of it. This is probably like a Washington drape. Oh. And then there's the shades. So, yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper for sure. Yeah, I feel like I've been training my whole life for moments like this to be able to yeah, look through stuff. I love it, you know. I'm, I love you be careful over there. On your feet yeah. are right by that hole. Yeah, I'm good. You're good? Okay. I'm going to... Well, I don't want to cut off. that out of there? Yeah, because that'll be one we'll take. Okay. Oh, all, all the old ties, I would take those. And I guarantee... Look at that. Nobody else is going to be interested in a bunch of ties. No. I mean, you wouldn't think in the family anyway. Sure. There's another lamp. The base of a lamp. Yeah, old light fixture. So you can always reuse stuff like this. See that old glass shade? Oh, cool, yeah. That's probably original to this house. Uh, I'll stick that there. See if I can stand up now. I can without bonking my head. This is where you think, oh, a trunk. With nothing in it. Actually, hang on. You want to hold that up? Yeah, I got it. 
Oh, it's just, a, yeah, I thought, well, maybe they wrapped something in it. It's just a pillow. The trunk itself is cool, but the trunk isn't worth uh, killing yourself over to get it downstairs, though. No. It's maybe worth, maybe worth, it's glass. Trunk's maybe worth a hundred bucks or something. Really? Yeah. Okay. Not the, that's glass. Pretty bad when you're staying at a hotel and the one thing you think when you pull up is i wonder what they'd sell me that neon sign for <laughs> uh always shopping always looking for stuff so just checking out the hotel downtown and so far the house um yes yeah, so it was a hoarder's house there's no denying that nobody's denying that but there is all kinds of cool stuff inside and already some of the things i've found has been really neat so we're gonna check in for the night and go back tomorrow when there's daylight and the room is recently renovated, so it's really not that bad. I mean, it's a small town hotel, so what are you going to expect? They've got a flat screen TV and a little desk and things like that. I was a little bit nervous because I booked online and I didn't read the reviews, but my wife did, and she saw this review here, which got me a little bit nervous about the hotel. And Janet writes that the room was hot, the fan didn't work, no screen on the windows, dirty, I woke up covered in sparkles from my bed, <laughs> had to go to a funeral looking like a stripper, <laughs> no, no coffee in the room, and when I went down to get some, no one at Fiant desk, which I assume she means front desk, unless that's a different uh, language that I'm unfamiliar with, but Janet was not happy, uh, I didn't find it quite that bad. Well, it's the next morning. I uh, <laughs> I kind of slept last night. Um, the ho the room itself wasn't too bad. Um, they have like a little bar attached to the hotel here. And 11 p.m. There's just thumping bass and music. And uh, I walk down to see what's going on. And there's nobody in there. It's like they're anticipating. They've got to set up for a crowd or got to set up for young people, but there's nobody there. So <laughs> baffling. Um, so I came back, went to bed, and discovered that the train tracks must be pretty close by because <laughs> the train kept going by and blowing its whistle the whole time. But if there's one thing that will wake you up in the morning, it's having a shower in the shower that's here. <laughs> and I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm gonna show you guys what the shower head's like, it's crazy. Okay, so little hotel bathroom, unusually large shower head. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna point it away and I'm gonna turn this thing on because I I'm, I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Get just you gotta wait for this. You'll see what I mean. Okay, I am almost 100% certain they installed a shower head that's meant for cleaning livestock. Like this thing is so powerful, it probably clean ticks off of a goat. It completely will clean a human being in less than 30 seconds, I guarantee that. And uh, <laughs> maybe after being in a hoarder house, that's the kind of shower head you need. So I'm actually not gonna complain about it, but uh, it reminds me of the Seinfeld episode when Kramer installs a high pressure shower head in his place and he can barely stand it. It was exactly the same, I lived that episode. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that is actually an industrial like livestock shower head the guy had kicking around because it, it is no human would normally put <laughs> put themselves in that thing uh but fun what fun so now <laughs> this morning I'm gonna go try to find somewhere to eat uh grab breakfast but always an adventure so it's 8 a.m uh just had breakfast with the folks and uh <laughs> This is gonna sound crazy. I've decided to make an offer on the property itself, contents and all. So the house, the land, the contents. Uh, so we're off to go uh, meet up with the uh, homeowner and see if they want to accept the offer. And then um, that way I'll have some time to properly go through this house. So we shall see, uh, that's what's happening now. Okay folks, well we did it. Uh, <laughs> I bought a hoarder house. So whether I should have or shouldn't have, um, <laughs> It's done now. Um, I talked to my wife. I did clear this with the wife ahead of time. Uh, so the house, uh, it is on uh, two lots. It's, it's a fairly big property. Uh, I'll do kind of more of a walk around once I get back in uh, daylight here today. Built around 1912 or so. Uh, it is kind of a historic home uh, and they didn't want to deal with the hoarding issue. We got it for a deal. So. Uh, I say a deal, but honestly, it's going to be a heck of a lot of work to go through this. So, uh, yeah, we did it. Sometimes you watch those hoarder shows on TV and you think, wow, what an awful mess. Uh, yeah, so now it's going to be my issue to deal with. And um, 
and, and my mess to deal with. So <laughs> this is what's happened. I bought a order house. So honey, uh, if you're watching, uh, I will call you soon <laughs> and let you know this all happened. Um, but uh, yeah, what a crazy day. So we're gonna go back to the house right now and I'm gonna do some footage of the property and give you guys an idea about what I'm in for. So this is the property which I bought. You kinda can't see it right now because it's treed. It's on, I would say about a half acre of land. It's a double lot. It's a two story home. Actually, it's got a third story attic. And structurally, when I was in there yesterday, it didn't seem that bad. So I'm hoping that we can do something with it. A lot of these trees will probably have to go so you can see the front, but kind of get an idea. That's what I just bought. So we'll walk around the front here. There's no garage on the property. This little addition here is not in the greatest shape. Clothesline. It's actually a nice little piece of land, really. Some nice trees up front. You can see some structural issues with the corner of the addition here. So I guess this would be the front walk right here. And then you can see the front of the house here. I'll have to take my time with this one because there's just gonna be so much stuff. You killing that rock? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's already dead. I was kind of poking around in here the other day. It was dark. I don't know if we can even get in here. I'm gonna try and squeeze through this little crack. Okay, I'm in. There. Does not appear to be too much in here, but I was hoping that I would find some old uh, oil and gas, you know, like maybe some old oil cans or things like that. This was a cookhouse, they said. They moved in off the farm. This mainly looks like it was, uh, she was a potter, an artist at one time. And there he was. So this looks like it's mainly potting material. There's another, uh, another cream separator. What's left of one. Boy, it's a good thing I had a light breakfast. That's what I had to squeeze through. Okay, that's another addition on the side of the house here. It's full of stuff. Get in there. Huh. This looks like they kept some of the garden stuff in here. I'm going in. sale. Well, not the valuable advertising sign I was hoping for. Oh, I see there's a door right there. There's some rocks. You know, a person's entire life. Oh, hey, this is kind of cool. I was actually looking for one of these a while ago. It's an old roof rack off a car. I could actually use that. Okay. This is where the fun begins. Yeah, where did we put the rubber gloves? Oh, yeah. yeah, maybe. I'm just gonna set them right there. Okay. So when we first walk in, we'll have gloves. It's a glove kind of day. Oh boy. Where do you even start? Well, I'm gonna climb my way over to the attic. We're getting some of these rooms that we didn't see the other day.
How's she going, Don? How are you doing? Good. I'm going to work my way upstairs here, I think. Or maybe try and get into one of these rooms we didn't get in. Okay. Banister seems okay. I'm going through. You don't even know what you're stepping on. There's some things, you know, how that didn't get broken. 1930s Art Deco figural lamp. It's a lamp and a oh, sculpture. I remember that old lamp. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to put it in there. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah, the old uh, liquor bottles. Yeah. Signed Soapstone. 1983. Indigenous Inuit of an eagle, very nice. Art Deco lamp. Put these inside the car. It's a close. I might have to call somebody who's into vintage clothing and have them come out. And see if they're interested in any of this. Let's have a look down here. Uh, chairs, boxes, rocks, a beat up old radio. Uh, oh, a uh, general store paper dispenser, part of an old clock. Spider webs, piano stool. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be stuff. Like, you know, we'll just have to empty her out and see what we got. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a whole room there we can't even get inside because it's blocked off completely. But even like this dress that's sitting here has gotta be from the 1930s. Just kind of hanging out, just hanging out. So you have to go through the clothing, unfortunately, it's a big job, but some of this stuff could be pretty old. And sometimes pretty collectible. And I'm standing on a chair, a 50s kind of chair, in front of the door. I've got the stuff cleared, so let's open it up. Okay, well, there's a mattress blocking the way. Let's see if I can climb in here. Hardwood floors. Not surprisingly, there's more clothes. And more clothes. And it looks like they were doing some carpeting. I'm gonna say in the 60s. Let's see what's on the other side of these mattresses. Oh, trunk. Newspapers. Let's get an idea about when they put this stuff in here. 1987. Some people watching probably weren't even born yet when this stuff was packed away. National Flyer. So it looks like a lot of newspapers and clothing. And paperwork. Let's see what's in the trunk. Some nice old, it looks like this has Bakelite on them. Horn rim glasses, probably 1940s. Could be gold actually. They didn't actually use real gold, but those can be kind of trendy today. So kind of a cool score. Put those in my pocket for later. Okay, let's look in the trunk. Even the purse, it's all tooled leather. You know, we can't get too excited about purses and stuff. That's not going to make us our money back. Oh, look, there's a treadle sewing machine. Didn't even see it. And it's actually in pretty good shape. Let's see what's in the drawers. All right, sewing stuff. It looks to be in really good shape. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a lot of papers, and ribbons, and cloth. This was probably the sewing room at one time. I had the sewing machines there. This door looks like the door opens inward. 
see if I can reach the handle. Reach the handle. Why is it tight shot? That's the question. It's a tied too. Okay, the door is tied. See that? Somebody's tied the door shut. It's all really good too. What's that? Well, there's a light right there. The, I might oh. just put, be able to put a bulb in. I'll go get a bulb. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see if I can get down in here. Yeah, you kind of almost have to be careful that you can get back out once you get in there. Yeah, you don't want to get trapped. Okay, so there's some paintings, lots of clothing, really cool Sunny Boy cereal calendar. That's actually a really good piece. An old Nordstrom coat. I said some of the clothing might be collectible to some. That looks like an old nurse's outfit. Automatic in there. Yeah, it's gonna take some real digging. Well, I had to step outside and get some fresh air. The uh, dust and the mice are kind of getting the best of me. <coughs> so taking a bit of a break. But I am finding some other cool stuff like this old antique coat rack and everything I find just kind of comes off the total of what I paid for the property. So hopefully there's going to be enough in here. I don't doubt that there will be to uh, offset the value of buying the whole place. So still a bit more to go and I dive back in there after I catch my breath here and uh, get back at it. So things aren't really that bad. I mean, yes, the house has been hoarded to capacity but most of the hoard, it's not like it's food or um, garbage, things like that. It's bags of clothing. So a lot of it is in sealed plastic bags of clothing. It's all throughout the whole house. So, I mean, it, it, the worst thing is, uh, at least it insulated the house to a degree. <laughs> um, but it had, the house did have a new roof put on uh, several years ago. So it's got uh, a two year old roof. The furnace is about four years old. So there have been some renovations done with the property. So it's not, you know, I don't think it's hopefully beyond repair, uh, but it's a beautiful big lot. It's in a historic area. It's a half block away from uh, a half block away from a school. So I think a fairly desirable setting. So um, with luck, after we clear the house out, it shouldn't be too much effort to, uh, to sell the property again later on or keep it as a rental or an income property. We'll see. So. <laughs> Okay, so I am back. Um, nice to be back home again and relaxing. And my wife, well, uh, what do you think, Mel? About the whole purchase? About the whole thing, about the whole adventure. I, I think it's gonna be an adventure. I think that it's not surprising that he bought a whole house with everything in it. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's gonna be, we're gonna come out okay in the end. That's how unpredictable I am. She's not surprised that I bought an entire hoarder's house. This is what she has to deal with. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm fine with that. So thanks so much for tuning in on another adventure. This one is going to be probably like a four-part mini-series, I guess, as we try and figure out what we're going to do with this house. Um, so stay tuned for more. And if you're a new subscriber to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get the updates when the videos come out. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.